Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Magic Craft run, the action combat roguelike that allows you to create broken spells to break the game. And today I'm gonna try to create uh, something new, I guess, maybe with the water. I don't know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what the build is gonna be. Uh, yeah, to be seen. And we got pets. Uh, I don't think we're gonna go pets. I'm gonna say let's go money early game so we can go to an early shop, as always. And uh, yeah, the question of the day, by the way, a very simple one today. We're not, it's gonna be philosophical aspect again. Uh, until you know the run actually begins because early game there isn't really anything to talk about just avoid opponents kill opponents that's it so uh, the uh, question of the day is the following uh how long do you think it takes for a person to learn another person or at least how long it takes for you let's actually simplify this how long do you think it takes for you to um understand person and decide if you want to make them friend or not you know or learn them more about them or you know become make them part of your um of your people i guess i don't know how to exactly explain what i'm trying to say here how long does it take uh, and i think there is like a big difference maker in a lot of people i think there are either the people that take very little like i have uh, heard people say within five minutes i know and then i have learned also deeper thoughts like you know it takes like it, it takes a minimum of 10 or 20 or 30 hours to learn a person for real i want to do guardian once we're gonna go with that maybe we're gonna go do a guardian one build today or something um and uh, that is pretty much the question how long do you think it takes for you to know a person and when i say no i mean specifically the aspect of uh being able to decide if you want them to be in your life or not like does it take five ten minutes does it take 10 hours of um, talking or speaking or whatnot and i want to do like a side question within the question here i want to give my spin on this and i want to say that if it takes you very little time, let's say five to ten minutes, then how do you know that you just didn't happen to see them at a weird phase of their life or you just heard something wrong or whatnot? So how do you know you are not biased in your five minute decision? And if it takes you a lot of time, let's say 10, minute, uh, 10 hours or 20 hours, then how do you know that the other person is actually themselves and hasn't actually started talking to you differently because they learned you before you learned them and now they're not their real self they might be having a mask for you specifically that and that's why after 10 minutes you actually find them awesome instead of within the first five so it's a question within a question i would say that's it it was a little bit longer today well fun even more there's guardian one and power fraction crits uh yeah we're gonna go with crits here although I, these have five percent crit chances isn't really worth it i think we're gonna continue with the shots and let's go on. Uh, I'm gonna see even more money, honestly. We got a relic, by the way, that says every three enemies killed, I gain one temporary shield. So that's for the specific room in itself that the assassination happens. Not really that crazy good, but also not really that bad, to be honest. A little bit, a little bit of everything. And we got a lot of potions today, which is pretty good. Whoop, let's avoid. And now I have, there have been people telling me that they don't want philosophical questions early game in the video. Some people telling me to put them at the end. I think it's I guess better in the beginning but also it's fair to say that i don't enjoy listening to these so yeah i don't know what exactly to do that and how to handle it but i'm trying to just keep the questions smaller that's how i'm trying to handle it anyway i'm not gonna go into that anymore let's actually play the game now maybe i should put some kind of um i don't know some kind of uh timestamps that could be a thing i guess the editor should do that but that would be the youtube timestamps where at the bottom you can see where is what Anyway, maybe we're not gonna do that. We're gonna see. Who knows? Who cares? Let's go play the game. Fight the first boss. This is the weirdest boss from the early game bosses. Let's see the broken one we're gonna get. Man region. Everything's cheaper or something. Here we go. Everything's cheaper. <laughs> All ones cost 80%. We obviously take that. Uh, it's a better one than the one I have. Cooldown wise. So theoretically I should transfer my skills. Or, or I can just do this. Um, by the way, somebody told me that with shift... You can very quickly switch your items around. Look at this. Ah, it is awesome, honestly. Yes, we're going to do that. And then we're going to also say, you go here with pets. Yeah, that's going to be the pet summoning wand. Uh, by the way, if I this has six manager, if I put another one in, it becomes 2.4. And if I put another one in, it becomes one. This thing says, attached one will fight for you, but it has 40% less. Uh, actually, it's mana region is multiplied by 40%. So that's why that happens. Okay, here we go. And a lot of spiders. I can avoid these. And we can avoid these. Well, we have the pet summoning wand anyway. So that's the play here. Pet summoning wand. Summons pets. We get our pets and the pets attack for damage. And the damage they do is good. And also we have a crit chance on those. 
Avoid. Nice. Easy avoiding. Let's get him pets. The petsos. <laughs> Look at them rolling around. The cutie pies they are. <laughs> I love them so much. I love the poops so much. Let's see. Um, now the wording there was a bit off. Anyway, let's go with summon three elves that intercept bullets. Because as always, we do not need or care about how much life the opponents have. We do not need to know. It's completely relevant. While these little spirits around us, Brolock and projectiles, are godlike. Uh, they have like a cooldown of five seconds, it feels like. Uh, yeah, they just fired. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I should just count. Maybe counting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they are about ten seconds. About ten seconds. I counted a bit weirdish. Maybe it's ten seconds each. Or do they pop two at a time? I didn't see if two at a time appear at the same time. If it's ten seconds for each. Then they're not really that, that, that good. Yeah, it feels like 10 seconds for each. And has nothing to... I mean, I need to test a bit more. We can test a bit more in a moment. If they have a 10 second cooldown, it's decent though. Every 10 seconds you block a projectile, that's nice. We're gonna go relics. I don't think we do want to go there. I want to go shopping, to be honest. With my money. So let's... We block three right away. So let's see if all of them are gonna appear at the same time. Or if they spawn one at a time. Okay, they do spawn one at a time. It seems, yep, guaranteed one at a time, because I still have only one, and we're about to get a second one about here. Yep, we just got a second one, and they disappeared again. Still, imagine having 15 of those, right? I mean, an opponent can easily just pop them all at the same time. Two mana region is one of the best things you can possibly get, because it affects all the ones you have. Uh, at, at least that's what I think. Let's uh, whoop, block the shot there. And just like that, because this is a machine gun, enemies here... We will not be able to block enough shots here for this to be worth it to up. For the butterflies to be worth it. Even if I had 15, we would have wasted all of them on the milliards of shots that the opponents just spawned there. Uh, by the way, these egg sacs, they lose life every time they spawn a thing. So it's as if they take their life away to just spawn another enemy. So it isn't really that bad if you let them spawn. The spiders die in 3-4 hits anyway. Mana region is always good. Uh, troll serum for pets or fire. You know what? I have never done ghost fire build. Let's go with ghost fire. Maybe we're going to do a ghost fire build today. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not promising anything. Although maybe troll blood was the actual play here because I do have pops. Eh, irrelevant. Uh, let's put mana region on this wand. It doesn't matter where the mana region is. Let's have them in a way where it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Yeah, not a big difference though. Uh, let's go relics, obviously. <laughs> Imagine going healing. I've never gone healing, honestly. Other than some runs in the early game. Where I did actually use healing because I was about to die. Um, yeah, lately I've never gone he back to healing. I guess it makes sense because I have so much life at this point. Where losing 50 health here or there doesn't matter. As I can just uh, wait a little. Whoa. That was a that was a very much uh, avoiding. Dun -dun. You know, the Goku meme. I don't even know what the meme exactly is called. Crit chance, I would say. Damage is the choice. Relic option is always early game. Good choice. But we're going to go with the things that right now are helpful. Curses. Reduce movement speed. That's a non-curse for me. Cannot cast any spells. Definitely no. They'll put you back every three seconds. That's fun and not bad. Recall also. Who cares? Max mana. I'm not going to take that. A bomb will appear besides you. No. We're going to go here. And we're going to go here. And teleport you back once every three seconds. This can easily kill us. But it's fun. Let's take it. Meta progression. Okay, so all of these were useless for the run. Meta progression is useless for the run. Two keys. Nah, two keys are good. Uh, shop time. I only have three keys. I would like to bring them up to five or six. We found another one of those uh, auto wands. Auto wands, battle. And this is the one that gives us mana regions. So this is a guaranteed buy. <laughs> guaranteed purchase right here. Yep, three mana region everything. I'm gonna say... Um, oh, I thought we had a potion that says everything's cheaper. Unlock everything. The current room is what I have. Five type of curses, you lose all of them. Uh, I think I could have gotten that. That was stupid of me not actually getting this. Yep, mistakes were made. And we're gonna buy this. Uh, I don't really want more of these boys. They're gonna combo anyway. Although I could have a multi-wand of multi-wands. Yeah, I think I should go for multi-wands of multi-wands. Let's take this. I just got sent back. And let's pull them. Red chance, who cares? Duration, of cares? Max mana, who cares? Keys and keys. Okay, we're pretty much done with keys now. We have seven. Seven is enough to end the game. Uh, I got a overload scatter. We know for a fact that scatter shot and any type of multi shots are good. Oh, we found a water. Water gun. You know what? Let's get a water gun. Put it on the stupid wand. 
you're the water wand. <laughs> okay. Okay, water wand. Poison. I'm not gonna put poison water. That's extremely stupid. Roll them. Uh, you know what? Let's buy the troll blood. I'm about to get sent off. Wee! <laughs> I bought the thing, though. I bought the thing, though. And let's make these guys bigger. And uh, let's go with, uh, I would say, max health. I don't want to go combing spells yet. Do I want to not combo spells yet? Oh, the water's going to be tiring to listen to. Uh, let's go here. Another side door. That's nice. So now we actually got water part of the build. A thing I've never done before. Uh, so the good thing with water is that it cleanses the ground from poison and anything else. Uh, and I think it also cleanses opponents in general. Like, if it's a poison spider, it makes it a normal spider. We should keep that in mind. I mean, now is the chance to actually see that. Uh, unlock everything locked. This is not locked. This is just going to cause us health. I'm not going to spend a double key for a non-key. 11% chance to dodge. Nice. That's one of the better relics in general. Because if you level it up, every level on this thing is the most value for a level you can get. It's 11 right now, then it becomes 22, then it becomes 34. It just is very, very, very good. It just is. Okay. The curse I have that sends me back is going to not be fun here. That's for certain. We're going to go down, down, right. Right, obviously forced here. Down, up to this point. Right, forced up to this point. Up, up to this point. Up, up to this point. And here we are. Whoop, boom. And we got a speed up. Leveled up. Uh, what would that look like here? I'm most likely not going to go flames, by the way. I most likely go magic wands, guardian wand build. Oh, you know what? Being invisible would really be helpful because I could have four guardian wands and I should just move around invisible. That could be the thing. Let's see how this is going to go. Machine gun him down, my boys. The water is not going that well. I should have gotten hit, but I got my spirit thingies. Oh, boom, boom. Still level up. That was a nice shot that we dodged it there, Jer. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Shroop. Still got shots, still got my petzos, which are healing by the way, because troll blood actually works now, because I'm playing on the non-beta version. And we won, very nice. Water wand has no mana issues. That's also nice. Get my meta progression, and also some healing, and let's see what we're gonna get out of this. I got all wands get AoE, which is decent. Or I get the shotgun wand every time we kill something with this thing, but that has a very, very good cooldown. And 17 mana region. Do I want to go something AoE related? Right now we are not even remotely close to AoE, so that does not really make sense. Therefore we're going here. It's a better one than the one we have as it has a better cooldown. Fire interval 0.3, this is 0.13, so this fires all of them faster. And by the way, let's do the... Yeah, this fires slower, but when the cooldown hits it fires faster. So if I do this, it fires faster because this has a fire interval of 0.13. This has a cooldown of 0.15. So we are using the cooldown here and not the fire interval. So now we have two buffing wands. Um, yeah, pretty much. We have mana issues. No, this is pretty much okay. I think we're good. Uh, I would say this has 15% crit chance. You know what? Let's actually make the switch here. So these guys move faster and shoot faster. This is movement, projectile speed. I could also put it here, by the way, and be like, zoop, machine. Nah, that doesn't make sense. Here we go. Uh, the rest don't really matter. What would this look like? Oh, my wand did become a flying wand the moment I do that. Okay, well, obviously we want to do this and put, I would say, the flames on this thing. So we got all the wands. We have three wands that are doing their thing on their own. Nice. I do enjoy this. And we have our da -da 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 normal bullet shots. <laughs> Uh, we found one more slot, definitely take. Airborne, meh. Chance to replicate a spell also, we take. Forget the flying, we're gonna go one more wand, and we're gonna go with a chance to shoot into also different directions for free. Flying is good with poison ground, in general. 42 though is a bit too expensive and for my taste, so we're not gonna take that. And uh, let us uh, go. Actually, flying is very powerful. I've never needed flying though, but it's very powerful. Should I YOLO it? I'm very YOLO heavy in general. YOLO it. My name is YOLO. Let's go. I mean, I just need to get one more max health forced onto us and I can just, you know, be safe again. And 52 life isn't really that bad, but you can easily die in one hit. Let's go. I should not have YOLO'd it in hindsight. In hindsight, I should never have YOLO'd it. Can I fly through walls? No. Nope. And there is the one thing that's going to kill us, which is the, yeah, the poison, the exploder wood. Do boom, boom. Yep, I'm safe. 
I always forget that it shoots like three or four times. Also, I need to really, really, really keep in mind that if I fight the final boss of the zone, I should guarantee disable all my wands. Because if, if the boss, if the boss is the one that controls my projectiles, I should instantly disable all these wands other than the water wand. Only the water wand should stay. Because uh, projectiles are going to kill us. Let's go here. And we don't want to die from projectiles. Once again, we can fly, so I don't care about what's happening on the ground. I'm seeing that electricity boy. We don't care about him. Look how many flames that thing has shoot, shot out. So many flames. So many flames. Whoop, I should have gotten hit there. I got one evasion, and then I did get hit. After the evasion. Nice, we have a whole armada of uh, shots now. Uh, tracking shots nice and water gun again. I would say yes on those. Uh, can I have the tracking gun? Oh yeah, this is actually good. Here we go. We're gonna go tracking gun. Uh, do I have something that explodes? I wouldn't say so. What's the water with tracking gun? <laughs> the water goes around. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is so weird. No, no, we're gonna go bullets. Uh, yep, and let's open up the chest. For one key. 35 damage when I take damage. Okay, fair enough. Whoa, that guy got pulled onto us. Now we're into the bin. Even better. Let's break things until opponents die. I started believing that the flames might be a good choice on us. Whoa, what pulled me? Irrelevant. Oh, I should have gotten hit and I evaded. Should have guaranteed gotten hit there. Can I control how the flame go, by the way? I want to do the switch here and see. Oh, I can shoot these a lot faster. They're not really that easily controllable, but I can definitely shoot a lot more of these. Actually, this is the same thing. I have the same attack speed. That this does not make sense. Let's see what we find. Shots go through walls is a yes on my book. That's uh, an even more damage increase. Especially now because we have water and whatnot. Uh, I would say let's go max life here to not be afraid about losing anymore. Shop is good, but 73 coins, I would prefer to keep them. At the end of the day, we're not never going to have more than a fixed amount of coins anyway. Like There is no chance that we specifically need to spend the money now. Uh, the later we spend the money, the better anyway. As you find better stuff. Bye bye you. Bye bye you. Uh, I would like to have explosives or something to be able to break the vases here to fight the secret boss. What is this? 32 to max life. And now I have 80 sous. I'm, I'm super safe. Uh, what is this? Is this a golden? Is this golden? It looked golden. Permanent increased mana region. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Let's drink it right away. And let's get sent back. <laughs> uh, I would say money, honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna say money. Relics are good and all, don't get me wrong, but money gives you power within the confines of shopping, therefore more spells, and also uh, re-rolling spells, which is also better spells. So all in all, money is a play. Good thing I have those tracking bullet shots. Nope. Maybe now it makes sense to... I mean, no, I would say the pets shooting faster is a play, and not my bullets going faster. My bullets can stay on the air anyway. Where are the opponents? Da -da 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 -da. Look at this huge skeleton. Tear. And it's gone. Nice. And the shotgun build. Uh, whenever the shotgun happens, it's because I got the kill and the rainbow fired from within the... Um, charge 20 points for every enemy killed with this wand. Not for every enemy killed in general. We're gonna go relics. Forced on us. What is happening with the healing? I think there should be a meta progression that says healing does not appear if you have full life. Uh, not if you have a lot of life. Just full life specifically. Okay, I need to avoid shots here. Chase opponents down, nice. Okay, block shots, whatever. These opponents here with their projectile deflecting. Yeah, I don't even need to wait. I can be behind a wall anyway. These things break after they... Oh, I could have gotten hit there. Lose 10 life. Uh, yeah, I lose all my life for the curses. I have 25 life. We got this. We're not gonna die. 22% chance to dodge. That's obviously... It was 1 out of 10. Now it's a 1 out of 5. And then 33% chance. That's the next level. Is 1 out of 3. And then after that's 44. Which is insane, man. Um, I'm gonna go... Um, ha this time I'm gonna actually go relics. I think 100 quints is enough. Well, and here the game is like... You wasted 30 life. While you could have just wasted 10. So this was obviously a mistake on my end. It is okay though. Maybe this is a cursed chest. I really hope this is gonna be one of the. This is one of gonna be one of the rare times where I hope that we're gonna get 
the room that is only filled with cursed chests. Now I actually want that. Now I hope that. Because I have the potion alongside the statue, so I can literally buy all of them. Consume our all opponents into coins. That's good. Uh... Wow. You no longer have slow down while casting is the only good thing here. I hate the distance and I also definitely don't care about the opponent's max HP. Let's go in here and see Chris chests. No, uh, this is irrelevant to us because I fly. Nothing should be able to any do anything to us. Uh, same goes here. I mean, I think the flames do actually damage you, so let's not risk this. But because I fly, the spikes don't do anything to us. Uh, I got damaged. Uh, the rest I can just skip. This might be the very first time i ever gotten hit by this, by the way. Ever. Nice, and I got a tracking shot. Nice. Uh, I think tracking shots are better than control shots. Uh, actually, let's go on the flame with the tracking shots. That's what I think. Let's get... Uh, let's throw away the slow everything down. Let's get the transform everything into coins. Okay. So now we've got tracking flames that just chill over there. Ooh, that is, that's not a boss I can handle, actually. Let's go closer to it so it burns from the flames. Okay, this is gonna hit us. It should have hit us. Let's go close. Evaded. Wow, this, this boss I need to learn, man. It takes me a while to learn this boss. I'm not sure if the tracking shots are good here. Let's actually put the tracking shots on me. Forget this for the time. Mimic Cube is a yes, and Power of Traction is a yes. Assuming that I don't care about Mr. Key's hand. Well, that should go for Mr. Key's hand. Put it over the flames. Yeah, that's a level 2. Yeah, we're gonna go here, and uh, I think Mimic Cube still. Although this could level up that thing. And I do have crits on the build. Let's go here. Because now I can have the crit thing on my wand too, and let's forget the flames as a time being. And let's go. We have a water wand, and Mr. Key's wand. And a pop. Uh, I don't think the mana region should go on this guy. Yeah. Let's go. So now we got a lot of pets. And also now we've got tracking shots that on crit uh, damage the opponents close by. Yeah, a lot of small things are happening. A lot of small things. We're all over the place. By the way, I got another statue that removes curses. The game literally is telling me... Oh, you know what? Money. Ah, maybe I failed at how or man, maybe I should have done it a smidge earlier. And the fun thing is, literally last time I fought this spider room, I was like, oh no, I, I now I just need to remember that in the second zone there is a spider room that <laughs> blah 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 this thing. <laughs> uh, let's go self over a grimoire. This might be broken based on what we find later. And I guess crit chance and let's scatter. This crit chance let's scatter. I'm gonna put on my main wand. Self over grimoire for now. It is not really needed unless I put it here and we have three grimoires doing the water gunning over the guardian wand. The same could go with Key's hand spawns. Actually, Key's hand spawns better because Key's hand um, are gonna just spawn on the ground. I think we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Let's go finding spells. Okay, this thing takes a while to spawn. Yeah, no, those things are never gonna spawn the Key's hands. It takes them too long. Ah, oh, they did spawn it. What is that? It seems like there is a sniper shot or something. What's going on? A bunch of ghosts. I don't think we got that much value out of the enemies become potions. Enemies become coins. I think I didn't play that correctly. It's okay though. We got like five or six coins out of that. Bomb on death. Yeah, no, I think Mr. Key's hand do not spawn that often. If anything, it feels they only spawn when the wand spawns them. Let's remove this. Let's have it as we had it. We continue healing. Uh, these deflective... This deflects up to a specific amount. Serial. Left, uh, the left spell release when the right spell... When the right spell is on flight. Uh, actually, the opposite, right? <laughs> While the shot's on flight, it released another thing. Uh, let's go with Mr. Keys and let's go with the Serial. I'd like to see cereal with, let's say, water. That's weird, by the way, how it looks. Okay, it's super weird how it looks. Um, flames. 
Okay, I mean, this does function. My attack speed is still intact. And we also get three flames out of this. What's the opposite, by the way? Uh, th this is... My attack speed is not intact. <laughs> this is my attack speed is intact. I still have mana issues, by the way, because... The flames are still shooting. Yeah, I could have this. Why not? Spend all my mana. Although... Obviously... This should do more damage. Because higher crit chance. I don't have mana issues, though, is the main thing. Maybe with flames? Nah, this this feels worse. This definitely feels worse. Forget the flames. We go here with what we have. Actually, forget the crit. We're gonna go with the new thing. Yeah, whatever that is. Let's go. Okay, this is just... Just press buttons, try to go towards the right whenever you can go towards the right. And that's pretty much it. Just just press buttons. You see, done. <laughs> just, just press buttons. Meteor, pretty useless for us. Although I would like to do that. If I can get the epic that says I don't take self-damage, we do meteor build right now. Okay, we got the flames on the ground. Uh, maybe arcane explosions would be better over arcane, uh, the flames. I think we definitely need some kind of other type of deal here. Do I have a second water, by the way? Let's try the water again. It looks weird, yes. But maybe it works. The fact that it looks weird doesn't mean anything. It still does not prevent us from shooting, uh, so it doesn't matter if it's weird or not. It's a, spl a sprinkler build. Let's go shopping. We have money. You see, look how the look how the sprinters just go over there and water. <laughs> this is so stupid, by the way. <laughs> okay, we have four keys. I think that's enough for the rest of the game. This is a one that has fifty thousand slots, but otherwise does not have mana region or anything else. Um, it has a good fire interval. Mana region is nine, though, which is very, very, very low. Now we're not gonna take that. Uh, let's get this and let's see what else we can get. I don't really care about any of these. No point our troll blood and another one of these and another cereal. I can buy all three of these, which is I have them leveled up anyway. Uh, when standing still, this fire spells. Uh, this wand have no recall. While standing still, spells cast by this wand have no recall. Okay, so you don't get pushed. That's the idea here. Twenty points while standing still is decent. It's actually really good. It's better than me attacking with the magic bullet. Uh, I don't think I want it though. Uh, I would say we buy the three things here that are part of the build almost. And I'm gonna reroll in case I find a good book. Six points per crit. We are heavy into crit. Also 15% crit chance. This is good for free casting. It's definitely better than the rainbow thing. Um, and it also has one more one on what it shows. What's my crit chance here? 20% and 20%. This should be casting these things pretty often. Um, still though, I would prefer finding something better. For every hit. This is better. Hits are easier to do. This is a poor slaughter, and it also has a laser beam inside of it. So, every time this thing hits, it charges up whatever's on the right side. So, let's say this laser hits 50,000 points, because I'm gonna put double shots and multi shots on that. I think this is the play, yeah. In comparison to everything else, this is the play. Let's try this. Let's try the on-hit wand. With a laser beam. So I'm a laser beam build now. I'm gonna go with more tracking. More crits. 3% chance to crit. And we're gonna say, when you hit, you shoot out. We're now a projectile. Let's see what this looks like. Do I shoot pretty fast or is this a fail? No, I shoot very fast. Very, very fast. Uh, I would say we actually put the tracking on the bullets. Yeah, we need more tracking for sure. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna say we target the... No, no, no. I this is stupid. The laser is gonna have tracking. And the bullets go wherever my mouse is. Yeah, the laser shoots with itself and I target the opponent. Nice. The laser targets itself. I target where the bullets go. That's super nice. And now my question is, what can I do with this here? Oh, it spends my mana. That's how I spend... I lose my mana. Yeah, this thing spends my mana like crazy. Uh, water, like I had it. It shoots tracking laser bullets that loop themselves. What is this? Infin oh! The mana! The, the water goes where I want. <laughs> this is so stupid. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We have tentacles is what we have going on here. I could also do meteors, by the way. Forget the water for a moment. Nah, 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 nah. We're gonna go bullets that shoot out water. That's what we're going with. And the rest stays as is. And this is also a stupid part of the build, but I love it. Uh, I could also summon a bunch of keys hands, by the way. What would that look like? Ah, without this. Just get a bunch of keys hands. That's it. Nah, let's stick to the stupidity I've created. I like it. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, but do I want more keys? If I get a double key, maybe it's worth it. We didn't get a keys. Let's go. Uh, is there any one that's worse than the one we have? This one. One wand of stone. Also, this is on hit. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. 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 I almost made a mistake. I've done it 50,000 times before. By the way, by mistake, I threw something out. This here is on hit. Therefore, we should put pets on this. That's the big mistake I always do. So, if I put pets on this... Alright. If I put pets on this... Now, these pets, every time they hit... I'm gonna start charging this thing up. You see? You see how this works? Yep, right now we only have one pet. If I get a second one... If I get a second one... Oh, this has mana issues. No, this needs to go away. Yeah, so I can get my second pet going. Now I have two pets. Three pets, four pets. And one more into five pets. Nice, we have five pets now. Look how many bullets we got out. L look what's happening. You see what's happening? You see how many bullets I get for free out of this? Yeah, look, at, look at the one just shooting bullets. Yeah, so th I think that's the play. I could also do something stupid like this. It's just raining meteors all the time. And I just stay away from all this madness. Yeah, that looks cool to me. Uh, may maybe not safe, but definitely cool. Okay, I think this is the play, man. I think this is the play. We just spawn pets. Shouldn't that tr the same be true with uh, keys hands? Like, if I can get keys hands every time they attack, they um, they just give us more and more and more bullets. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Look how many keys hands we have and look how many bullets we're getting out of this. It's a typhoon of bullets getting shot out. Yeah. And also, why do I get so many pets? Oh, because the one thing spawned five and then the other thing is also spawning five. Yeah, okay, so I think it's either between keys hands, which most likely are the thing, the choice. Let's go with faster bullets. Yeah, faster bullets is the play. And then the keys hands are gonna be even more durable and whatnot, so they don't die. Making them cheaper is obviously the actual choice. Yeah, and let's go with this. Uh, I don't have a wand I'm actually using myself, is what I'm seeing here. Uh, if anything, I'm gonna say, let's do this. Wait, what has happened? Are we not getting infinite bullets anymore? Yeah, we're not getting infinite bullets anymore. Yeah, because Key's heads are not as crazy as the little boy's machine gunning. The Pooh's machine gunning, I think, is the play. Not um, It's a mix and match. But I think it's actually the Pooh's that are the best ones at shooting fast. And often. Yeah, these guys shoot a lot faster than Key's do. So we're gonna go with this build. Uh, we also have the water gun one, and we also have the free spawning one. And uh, then I myself am um, this here, which is... Uh, I wouldn't say I want laser beam build. I would say... Um, let's actually go laser beam build, whatever. I'm a laser beam build. Let's go. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I can just do whatever I want. And uh, let's go. Laser beam. And the laser beams also shoot out uh, shotguns if opponents are close. Let's not forget that I'm getting free shots every time my other 50,000 things shoot anything. I started believing that the keys hand, which are pretty much the tentacles, have a better consistency at shooting opponents. Yeah, I think that is the play. So let's rotate these away. That's what I can get. Uh, six elves. Oh no, the more health I'm missing, the more damage I do. And uh, I'm gonna say let's go money. A lot of things are happening on their own, by the way. I don't even need to do anything. I got meteors, by the way, so I'm saying a lot of by the ways. I'm, I have meteors so I can break the um, statues. Look how many opponents there are in comparison to previously. Go, my bullets. Go, my bullets. 
destroy this king. Or not. Nice. Uh, let's try to meteor the thing down. You know what? I can just be a meteor build. I can just click this button whenever I actually feel like it. And otherwise not attack ever. Maybe that's what I should do. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try being a meteor build. I only click once in a while. This also has tracking, by the way. So the meteor is going to course correct towards an opponent. Let's see if this works out. It's a bad idea, but uh, let's try that. It, I might lose the run on the spot. Uh, let's actually now go crafting spells. I think the time has come. Yeah, you see the meteor just appears wherever it wants. <gasps> Forget that. Forget that. Until I get my you cannot get damaged type damage, I'm not using meteor again. <laughs> meteor is only used with this thing, the tracking. Yeah, well, in this vein, I can do this then. I let the shot target themselves, and I can go back to my meteor. And now it literally goes where I want it to. It's never gonna hit me ever. Nice. Let's start comboing stuff. You go together, you go together. Uh, the, this is now 60% less mana spent. 60% mana spending. No, less times multiplier on the low mana, whatever. Uh, this is a good shot. You go here. Uh, and now serial stays, these stay, anything that can go more quickly stays. Send this off, as I only have one. This definitely stays. Uh, this also goes, this also goes. Yeah, these three are going to roll into something else. Nope, nope. Hmm, maybe. I mean, definitely no. I've done this build so many times. Oh, wait, can I do this? How much cooldown? 0 0.5 cooldown. Yeah, this is helpful. I also don't have mana issues, by the way. This thing has crazy DPS and I don't have mana issues. 1000 DPS. Let's stop attacking for a moment. Yeah, 600. Five. Wow. On my own, I do 1000 DPS. Is this real? Um, oh no, it's not real. I do enjoy this though. This is a very powerful spell. Uh, how much do I do with Meteor? I can shoot the Meteors very fast. Wait, that wasn't a lot of damage. Why didn't I do that much damage here? Okay, I'm actually doing 600 DPS. Forget the no damage thing. Let's go back to the laser beams. I think it's gonna be 600. It is actually 600. Ah, no, it's 500. No, let's, let's stick to the meteors. Let's stick to the meteors. I want to do meteor build. Play away. Nice. We're gonna level that up for sure. Okay, this goes a bit to the side. Send the laser off. Uh, salvo is good. Scatter, whatever that is. Less mana cost. Uh, I'm gonna say let's go over here. This has 3.2 mana. Okay, if I put a scatter. And this thing, it's 2.6 and 2.6. So it's 4 point something mana, but it's more because it shoots twice as many. Right, so we doubled them, but we made the cost less. Uh, I would say let's throw away the disrupting ray. The meteor too, very nice. Let's also make this into a meteor if possible. And tracking shots, oh wait, two. Uh, tracking shots two is good. I think water gun should get rerolled into either a cereal or something else. Uh, tracking shots too. I would say instead of speed here, put the tracking shots in so they guaranteed go where they're supposed to go. And then put the speed back over to pops. Uh, actually, no. Speed and tracking to pops so they don't miss. Is that actually useful? If I, if they were these guys. I yeah, know. Let's go super tracking and let's make blue pops a bit more durable. This water stays here as is. We stay as we are. Uh, let's roll the cereals into some kind of passives or the water gun into cereal to be honest. Nah, let's still roll the cereals into something. Uh, AoE. No, we got less mana cost, which is good in general. AoE, no. No. I would like to get something. Ah, triple splits. Not. Maybe here. It's gonna make them a lot more expensive. I don't think I need to make them a lot more expensive. Laser beams, no. I'm out of money almost. And we're done. This is useless. 
uh, this here might make us spawn more keys. And we want to just spawn as many of these as possible. Yeah, that's the play. Make this cheaper. So we spawn more of them. And the more we spawn, the more this fires. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I play the meteor and just die myself with 76 damage instead of kill on, on, on self damage. Let's see how this is going to go. I mean, the good thing with the meteor is that it's supposed to just insta-kill stuff. Whoop. I don't need to spam shots, by the way. I only need to attack when I decide to attack. And the good thing is, because I have perfect control over the meteor, I can just always make sure that we're not gonna get damaged. As long as I stay away from pretty much everything. Which I'm doing. We have auto shots. We have a lot of auto shooting right now. Yeah, literally, I need to pay attention to where I am and we're gonna be safe. Rock and ball for the final boss. Might as well. Uh, over water, I would even say. 50% crit chance and 50 damage. Let's try that over water. Maybe it's better. You never know. Uh, this blocks shots too, so why not? Blocking shots is good in general. Let's see how this is going to go. Let's see how this is going to go. Uh, is there any reason for us to put anything on? I could put tracking on the rainbow. Although I definitely want the bullets to be going well, so. Yeah, look at this 100 damage crits there. I avoided the hits. Nice. The rocks are not gonna hit us. They do not do undistributed damage or whatever it's called. Oh. We are pretty weak against this guy, by the way. I just realized my meteors are killing my own pets. <clears throat> so that's definitely bad. Let's go like this for a moment. Yeah, we're gonna go rock and balls here to not kill my own pets. Avoid. This is gonna kill all my pets. Yeah, I think Rock and Balls are the actual play of the build, not Meteors. Whoop, this is gonna hit us most likely. Whoa! I didn't get hit. Go Rock and Balls. Whoa, wait. And we won, nice. I think I perfected. Nice, that was a perfect. Will the heal loop around? What's, which one is my worst wand to most likely throw out? Uh, everything costs 8% less, no. Everything the matter region, no. The thing that I'm mainly using, no. That thing that says on kills. We either got a summoning one, or we got an even less mana cost. A bad cooldown, but in general a very powerful wand. I'm gonna go with this one. Bad cooldown, but in general very powerful wand. Scatter plus 135%, that's very bad. But it also doesn't matter at the same time, I would say. Scatter 10, this is a pets build. That's why it has a huge cooldown, but very decent stats. Uh, I'm not gonna really go pets. I think I want to just get my own good wand going on. Yeah, this attacks very slowly. Uh, but doesn't matter, I can put Meteor on this, right? Yeah, I can still control it. it shoots pretty Yeah, pretty... It has a very, very big cooldown, so I should do something like this. Yeah, the more spells it has, the more it can cast faster. Because it doesn't have a... It has a decent fire interval, it has a bad one on the other thing. Oh, another 50 life for another one slot. It's gonna actually help us. I mean, it's gonna mainly help with this thing. But the rest are not going to be helped that much by that. 45% chance. I do prefer this. It, you, I had 25, 45% chance to cast a spell again in random direction. 28 coins. That's good. I'm not going to go to that thing. Oh, wait. Meteors. By the way, once again, the main downside of the meteors is that we kill our own pets. Is the main downside of the meteors here. I would also argue we should do something like this as a build. You're just sending stones off. I want to get the you don't get self damage one down to one percent. I'm a bit afraid about just dying straight up. Uh, let's go with money. If we lose, we lose. You know, we got to act three. When I get to act three, I'm okay with losing. Whoop! I don't do that much. I'm sending my stones off. Maybe the wand I'm currently using should be one of the wands I should have on the pet build going, right? Because them spawning slower is not really an issue, and I just want to spawn a lot of them. Yeah, maybe that's the play. Maybe the wand I currently have should be this wand. 0.66 cooldown. It's the water wand, or this one, for example. And then I'm, I'm, I should be using the other wand so I can shoot faster. Right? Because this is a very good mana regen. And this is mainly just spawning five poops and that's it. So uh, let's actually do a transition and see if that's actually the play. So the transition is very easy. We do... Oh, come on. We do... 
and then we go over here and we do the same thing go over here I can't even do that and then we go boom and and here and come on the moment stupid thing this is this is so stupid okay so I should be attacking pretty fast yep I am attacking pretty fast and we have a better mana region going on I could also put... Uh, is this a slow... Uh, it has a good fire interval. So I could do this. Yeah, this feels a bit better. I want to try it. Okay. It feels better, yeah. Definitely feels better. The only issue, once again, being that meteors might kill my own pets... Um, no, I just did it, and I almost killed my actual build. Um, what? Forget risking. Forget risking. Forget risking. We're going with a. We're going with a stone wall. I'm not gonna risk again. This is safer. There is no reason to risk whatsoever. Why would I get hit by meteor and die? Why? Why would I do that? Just play the game, and win the game. Do some life. In shielding. Slow down time. Yep. Unlock everything locked. Still haven't used that. Mana regions, I guess. Based on course, they no, no, no. Mana region four. Uh, we're gonna go relics. I would say, ah, nah. Let's go max health just for safety reason. I don't think relics are so relevant. Honestly, where's the real one? Oh, it's that one over there. Bottom, nice. Let's go. <clears throat> I do enjoy this machine gun review going on because of the, all the pets. I think we're good against killing bosses. I think we're really bad against a lot of things, but at killing bosses we should be really good. Whoa. At least killing the final boss. Because the idea here being that I have a bunch of pets that all do a bunch of damage and the bosses don't do that much AoE. Something like that's the idea as, as how I'm having it in my mind. Uh, I would say let's go rolling. Did I get any combo ready? I don't think so. Now I would like to get the stones leveled up. Or the meteors for that matter. I mean the meteors are not. Uh, let's roll the birth cord either into the water or into the stones. I would prefer stones. Mana region. No, 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 no. I fixed already what I'm gonna go with. Stones. We got the stones. So the stone, by the way, gets an uh, actual level up. The rolling ball is very resilient. And then super resilient, but that's irrelevant. And this very resilient means that the opponents are not going to be able to break those. Okay, look at this 900 damage. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to go relics, I would say. Money for shopping. Money for shopping for a good wand. I want a good wand. The wand I'm currently using is good and all. 80% less mana cost and everything. But there are better wands out there. Otherwise known as the mana wands. Whoa. The mana battery thing is what I want to get. Let's go stones. Also, I think the stones need piercing. So that they're actually valuable for money. Right now, they're not that valuable. We have a lot of small things going on for the, in this build. That's what the build is. A lot of small things. A lot of small things. Let's go. Money, money, money. And hopefully a shop. A spell. That's also nice. Uh, as always, I would like to get stones if possible. If that's possible or not, it's gonna be seen. What is the curse? Cannot cast spells after you enter a room. That's... That's not really that, 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 that bad. It is pretty bad, but it's not that, 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 that bad. As a curse. And we still have what the five curses you get. Uh, you remove everything. Go, tentacles. I need to be straight up close to the opponent. Look at the tentacles healing. I need to be close to the opponents. So that the machine gun madness is happening. The tentacles have global tracking shots anyway. Let's take that. I cannot cast for 5 seconds. Nice. That's when I'm low life. I start healing. Charging mode. Mm, not really. Let's go to commons. To be able to roll them. This heals us up to 3D when I'm below 3D. Let's go shopping. 79 coins is decent. And I found the mana wand. The thing I literally asked for. Other wands use mana from this one to cast spells. And because I'm very, very, very mangra mana hungry, I think that is a good play. Uh, although this thing spawning again and again is an issue. And then we also have this thing spawning again and again. This is not an issue though. 
and if anything, I would say this shouldn't even cost less mana. This... Yeah, this should cost less mana. Which of these two is casting more heavily? 23, 21. Well, then theoretically this should be the thing. But this thing also makes the spell duration less. So theoretically we should go here. Mm, which one should I even throw away is the question. My wand. 80% less mana cost. This thing, also 80% less mana cost. The 3 mana region. I mean, this is 3 mana region on all of them. This is 20 mana region on the build. Uh, although, I'm gonna lose a wand by doing that. I guess I'm gonna lose this wand. The, um, the water buildy wand that provides us the mana region, yes, but also who cares. Uh, which of these two has more mana region? 10? 21? No, this, this, this should be the thing that fires very often. I think this is also more worth it. Uh, I think we should change this wand, the mana wand into the other ones use mana from this because this thing has uh, this provides us with mana region yes but both of these wands because they have the guardian wand inside of them they have less mana region this guy is not gonna have less mana region let's do the switch here i made a mistake i should have had that second we equip this you go away for a moment press this button switch but this is also has one more slot because of how we have that going on uh, mana region goes here guaranteed because ours don't get that much mana region. And now this should never go down, by the way. Yeah, this is not even losing mana. Yeah, it maintains its mana region. Nice and dandy. Okay, so we're super good here. Uh, is this one better than that one? Three mana region and everything. Is it that better than 80% less mana cost? I'm not really sure either about that. Like, switch here. I want to see if it can maintain the mana better. Or are we going to lose more mana? Mm, I'm going down to... I think I'm stuck at 300. Yeah, I'm stuck at 300. Uh, let's now do the switch and see for real if we are stuck at 300 with this one too. So with this one, we're still casting everything. Are we going to be stuck at 300 or are we going to have more? Uh, this is guaranteed less waste of mana. Yeah, this is better. This is straight up better because the battery is wasting less mana. Nice. That's perfect. Perfect that we got this example going. Nice. So we're pretty much ready. Uh, my shots, once again, were the rolling balls with crits. Uh, more max mana. Might as well put that on the super wand. Obviously. And uh, yeah, now I can actually shoot and waste mana myself. And theoretically, we should have enough mana to maintain everything. If not maintain everything, definitely maintain more. Yeah, I really feel okay with this. I would say let's also go crits on these guys. And these, I guess, stay. And we go. There isn't anything else. Uh, we're gonna now buy stuff. Okay, none of these. Uh, I got a Mimic Cube, which I can use to mimic either the crits or the crit chance. Or a bunch of things, honestly. Mana region. Yeah, we can mimic literally everything we want. 17 coins for this. And we're out of money. Maybe there is a spell that costs 5, although I'm pretty sure there is not. Ah, we got tracking shots, which is good. Ah, double shots even better. It is what it is. We spend a bit more money than what we should have done. But it's okay. I can't attack right now. But my ones can attack, so... Yeah, I don't care. I might not be able to do anything, but they are. Uh, I didn't even use the mimic I literally just bought. Do I do the most damage? Or do my, my petzos? Because if I do, then... Obviously, we know what we're supposed to do. Whoop. Copy one of my damage ones. I mean, I'm doing some 244 damage hits. I think I'm doing the most damage. Let's make crits even higher. Actually, instead of gaining 10% crit chance, I'm gonna get 5% crit chance. And also, when I crit, I split the damage. Remotely control your shots. No, would be nice if this was invincibility. Yeah, let's go with a randomly upgraded relic, hoping that it's gonna hit either the mana region or the dodge. Or the more... We have like three choices here that are very good. Four choices? These five choices are really good. And it hit the crit chance. So we got 10% crit chance, which is helping us because now we have 95% crit chance on this. And it has um, hits opponents close. The same goes with the uh, pops, by the way. And we got the f uh, five curses time. So we got cannot cast spells, lose one coin, lose two HP, backpack minus one. These two, by the way, we're even gonna take and keep. 
uh, H regen up, increase interval cooldown, no, anything locked, recovers more key, that's also whatever, Chris changes. Okay, so we're gonna go with first, let's accept and take the curses I'm gonna delete. So that's gonna be the um, lose one coin every time you enter a door, lose two HP every time you enter a door, and that's gonna go. Backpack slots minus one, these are gonna stay. HP region enemies is gonna stay. Increase casting interval cooldown of ones, that's also gonna go, guaranteed. Anything locked with cards, that's gonna stay. And of course, that changed over time. These five are gonna go. So these five, we're gonna just, if you have exactly five, remove them all. And then we're gonna go with the keys from here and out are gonna be cursed. My backpack slots less, backpack slots less, and opponents heal. And we didn't find anything that might duplicate things on the ground, so we're just now gonna pick everything up. And now we have like a bit less inventory space and the opponents might be more dangerous and whatnot, but who cares? Let's go. And I have a lot of money and yeah, the curses are less backpack slots, opponents heal and lock things are harder to unlock. Okay, 160 crit damage there is what I'm doing. Oh, he's trying to jump on us. Bye bye. And he's here on the wall now. In the window, on the wall. Haha, <laughs> he's gonna jump. Whoop, dodged. Shooting my bullets over. Yep. He terrorized to take a pot shot at us. Oh, he's about to appear below us. No, he's not. Boom, 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 boom. You know what? Tracking shots is the play. And he's gone. I don't think he even hit us. Piercing, piercing. I need piercing. Multi shot plus. Let's go. Mr. Keysand leveled up. No. The right spell is released when the left spell ends. The right spell inherits 40% of the damage of the left spell. Okay, I can press escape here. This thing does 80 damage. So I can make this thing shoot something on the right side of it. That does plus 3d damage. That's good. That's good. Uh, obviously we take this no matter what. Can I close this now? Oh. And I already have Mr. Key's hand leveled up. I don't think I should get another one. Maybe I could have gone for level 3, but no. Let's go with Duet. And Duet should be the one that hurts the damage of the other. So let's remove this. And even this one. And let's go like duet into... What would this look like? On hit, when is this? Release when the left spell ends. Pop. Okay, this does not spend me mana. The release thing does not spend me mana. It just happens no matter what. Oh, this is very good. How much damage is this? 60 DPS. Normally it's 60 DPS. Now it's 60 plus this thing. What would the flame version look like? It's just flames. No, we're gonna go water. I think the water gun is the play. That's how it feels to me, at least. Yeah, because this is like... Wow, this, this seems insane. Let's, let's go shopping. No, we're gonna go spells. Uh, we definitely want to use the Mimic Cube. Always use the Mimic Cube. Here you go. More damage on the pops. I guess. Or, or, Mimic Cube this thing, and the Pops now have tracking shots. Haha, -ha. we don't lose anything, but we gain stuff. Let's go spells. So now we have water guns everywhere. Yep. Which cost us nothing. Oh, they do... Do they cost us things? I don't know. I, I'm thinking they might cost us things because this is at zero. <laughs> so it really feels like they are costing us things. Oh yeah, we have mana issues. <laughs> we have actual mana issues. Uh, is that done because of the water? Yep, that was done because of the water. Okay, so we need something ex ultra cheap. I think Arcane Explosion is the play. How much damage does Arcane Explosion do? 15. Yeah, that's a good thing that is gonna be scaling a lot. Like, if you can make the damage of the spell you're copying do almost double, then you are doing the correct choice. We got a key. Well, these cost two keys now to open, so... Man region, nice. That's gonna level up. And I guess Mr. Key's hand, I don't know. Birth cord here. Let's put him here. Now we have a birth cord going on. And if anything, I should be using stuff. <laughs> I should be using stuff. Mana region on you. Um, Multi-shot on me. Oh yeah, multi-shot on me. Oh yeah, look at this. I'm on my own spending the whole mana from this thing. <laughs> On my own. Well, mana region on this thing then, for sure. Max mana on that, whatever. Uh, more crits on you. More crit chance. You know, that, that's what I'm saying. You, you just, just put things on. Let's go.
Maybe these should go here, by the way. On this, uh, on the machine gun buildy. Oh no, we destructed away everything. Yep. Okay, now we do less damage. Actually, we have less attack speed, not less damage. Wong, wong, rolling balls coming in, boys. Okay, we got a potion, which I think I have. Permanently lose or gain stuff. YOLO it, plus 15, boom. Easiest minus five I got in my life. And uh, let's go spell crafting. Yeah, because we're about to go to the final boss anyway. Yep, and then elites there, and then that's that. Nice, and off you go, stones. Stones that explode. Oh, now is a good time to test. You know what? I would like these guys to not be casting for a moment. Okay, so let's see. So this does about a thousand DPS plus a bunch of AoE. Two thousand DPS plus a bunch of AoE. Water gun. This should be doing more damage. Yeah, this is more damage, but my mana run out, as you can see here. I run out of both of these manas. So yeah, this is more, but it's also less at the same time. This maybe? Actually, normal shots. Let's see if normal shots... Yeah, normal shots seem to be the play. 4,000 DPS, although that doesn't count because it's the plus 50% damage that I all... Uh, that this buff is supposed to already be part of the build anyway. I think I want this, man. I think I want the arcane explosions. They look the simplest, they look the cleanest, also don't spend that much mana. I think that's a play. I could go with meteors too, by the way, which is super risky. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let's roll things now. You go here, you go here. Obviously, I would like to get another guardian wand. Uh, the meteors are not gonna be part of the build anymore, forget that. Water I'm gonna keep because I'm... Oh, I'm not even using mana. Water. Water is also useless. Okay, we're gonna begin with send these three off into maybe water, and then we're gonna see. Damage up, that stays. Penetration up is nice. Uh, let's try penetration. Let's try penetration over these. Move these for a moment. Let's go with penetration here and damage. Is that gonna be more damage than what I was using previously? So the only stone is more damage than with... Yeah, I mean, look at this. The only stone does 2,000 damage, right? Because there's penetration in this. And if I go with stone, release, arcane, it's less damage. No, it's the same. No, it's 3,000. Yeah, that's actually more. Yeah, but then I'm out of mana. And now that I'm out of mana, this is no longer possible. While if I do this thing, I don't have mana issues, and it is going to be possible for, the, for all the game. For well, the whole game, I'm gonna have stones forever. No, this also has mana issues. Ah! 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 Close-ish enough. At least for the final boss, that's gonna be close-ish enough. We're gonna keep the arcane explosion for sure. Let's throw the fire out. Laser beam? No. Poison, maybe. Another stone? No. Stone releases stone. Ooh. <laughs> uh, boomerang blade. No. Water gun leveled up. Let's level that up. Okay, and I'm gonna actually roll that into something. AoE. Does the AoE work on the stones? Nope. A AoE is useless for us. Flames. Copy itself every four seconds. Yeah, but they remove themselves also. Oh, they don't remove themselves. Uh, is this more? Oh, this is a lot more. 4,000 DPS! And just like that, we are the flame bill that we always thought we're gonna be. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But now I'm not throwing stones out, so that means we're gonna die from the final boss. No reversing to flames. Flames is the build. Change of plan, change of plan. What would flames without piercing... Uh, I mean, they do need piercing, but what would flames with arcane explosions and uh, duets do? Is gonna pop on their own? Yeah, they do already pop on their own. But the splitting thing... Uh, the mana is disappearing, by the way. No, this is worse. This is straight up worse. Wow. Okay, we go flames. And uh, this duet explosion idea stays. This, this, this idea over here stays. I mean, I can just do it like that. Uh, forget these, right, for example. And do something like this. And then you go here. It's gonna start throwing stones out, right? Takes a while. 
Oh, they 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 throw they get thrown out from wherever. Ah, uh, no, no. It is good and all. Don't get me wrong. It is good, but um, I do prefer this machine gunnery that we had previously, like this. Wait. What happens if I don't do this? By the way, the stones come from wherever land. No, I'm gonna go back to my machine gunnery I had. I'd prefer it a bit more. Yeah, I did prefer the machine gunnery madness we had a bit more. Even if it is less. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep these. Let's throw the meteors out. Yeah, let's start throwing the meteors out. Oh, multi-shot that stays. Nice, we got another one of those. So now we got an upgraded mana cost on this thing too. So this is ready. And the multi-shot can go on those boys. If anything, it should go here and here. So now we got multi-shot pops that are a bit more expensive, but they are more powerful. And they also have tracking shots and pretty much everything else. I think we're ready to go, man. I think we're ready to go with the flames. In case I don't enjoy the flames, we can rotate back to the balls, obviously. Uh, and I would say 25% damage is worse than crit thing. So let's do the crit thing here. And uh, I think we're ready to go. There's nothing to reroll. That's the second build we keep there. So I just shoot the flames out. And the flames at some point are going to overtake everything. Yeah, the flames have piercing. Nice. Go over here. Yep, go flames. Go flames. Oh, look at the opponent. Big mistake, my man. <laughs> Big mistake. And the flames will copy themselves every four seconds. So anything that goes inside the flame zone dies. Go, my flames. Whoop. Nope. Whoop. Stay away from me. That thing died. This thing died. Everything dies. Look at this. He's about to copy and he's gone. Nope, he's still alive. And he's gone. Reduce not collected will disappear after 10 seconds. Resources and reduces. 20% uh, damage. Oh, 33% chance to dodge. Let's go. So now it's 1 out of 3. Let's go here and see what we get. Okay, is this thing discriminate? No chance to kill something instantly or gain 15. Locked by chain ball. That's going to slow us down immensely. Uh, but what was it? 15 armor? No, who cares about 15 shielding? I don't care about that curse either. Let's go here. And let's begin. Go, my flames! Okay, pretty durable opponent. I got hit by something. Now this guy got deleted and deleted. Though. Man, when when we have so many flames on the ground, everything just instantly gets deleted if they get touched by them. I love it. The flames are awesome. I thought they were trash. They're cool. Look at this guy. Boom, and he's gone. You can understand how much DPS you have when you see opponents that you know have always time to attack, die before the attack. Rebound duration, eh, whatever. I'm gonna say money. Do I have money as power? I'm gonna go max life because I have low life as power. Most likely I'm gonna get the shop here and then I'm gonna be like, yeah, I should have gone with money previously, but it is what it is. Go, my spirit flames. This is a very low, slow run we're getting. Whoop. Nope, this, this is gonna be a big run, is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, easy enough. I think most of the time took on crafting for 50 hours previously. Let's see what we get out of this. 32 health, and the choices are... Spell crafting or max health. We're gonna go spell crafting, trying to roll these two away. Nice. 108 on the crit with there. I would like to get crit damage, by the way. Let's see what we can get out of those two things. You're out. Nope. Nope. Uh, no, we already have that leveled up. Ghost Flame, maybe. No. Nope. Troll Blood level up. Yes. More health and more mana regen on my Petsos. The other Petsos don't have that. Let's roll this maybe in something. Chance to cast a spell. Green, nah. Flame. Damage up. Uh, you know what? Let's put the damage up on the tentacles and I think we're ready to go. Yeah, there is no real reason to wait and think about this. Be a toast. What is the... Um, I wanted to ask, what is the... Mimic copying? But it's copying tracking shots. So that I don't miss out on DPS pretty much. We st I still shoot extremely often. Nope. <laughs> look at them trying to avoid our armada of flames. Well, look at them, look at them. Where are you going? Where are you going? Armada of flames, go! Armada of flames! Eat everything up! Armada of flames! You know what, if I had piercing leveled up, it would be nice. I think piercing level up would have given us a lot of DPS. 
the chance of us leveling up piercing is non-existent. Let's go fight the final boss. Well, like everything has never been used. We should destroy this. My DPS should be on the higher end of things. As I'm killing things that I know take time to die very fast. Oh, no. But it takes us a while for the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It takes us a while for the flames to set up. Into the shotgun curse bill shot. I think my DPS is going to be better shown at the final boss. Now, the issue with the final boss is that... Um... Well, the, the basic issue is that you need to have some kind of shot blocking, which if I do shot block, I'm going to be doing less damage. Man, the flames take a while to actually go through. I'm going to get... Yep, I'm confused. Man, I'm about to get cursed because of the confusion. Run away. I really hate that it's not really obvious when... Yeah, I just got cursed. It's not obvious when... Oh, no, that thing got anti-cursed the moment it stopped attacking. Nice, that was lucky for us. And we won. Wow, the boss just stayed and did nothing and it died. Nice! Okay, we won. By the way, I just realized, maybe, instead of crits, I should put speed on these. Yeah, and now these are a lot more controllable. Are they? Yeah, maybe. And then they're copying. Yeah, they're definitely more controllable like this. But it doesn't matter on the final boss. So, uh... What did I have over that? Damage, what I have? I don't know. Uh, let's see if we're gonna switch wands. If I'm gonna throw one wand away, it's most likely gonna be this one. Uh, let's actually flip this away for a second. Let's see what we get as a choice. Infinite mana. This is obviously one of the best things you can find. This here, the mana drain. Uh, and we got 80% mana cost with 50,000 slots in it. Both of these are really good. I think we should go here though. Get the mana drain, not to care about the Wand of No Source, specifically get the mana drain. So I'm gonna get that. Because now I can put it here and this is gonna attack faster than the universe itself. Uh, actually, no, this thing needs to have cooldown for that to happen. Hmm. 0.25. I don't have laser beams. If I had laser beams, this was the build. I still think I want this though. Uh, this is just an upgrade on that. Right, this has 0.9 cooldown, this has a 80 mana cost. 0.23 cooldown, 80 mana cost. That's gonna cast too often. But that's not true for the tentacles. But I don't want the tentacles there because this is... Ah, this is bad. I would say we go with this though. Still. With the epic. And then we just take the spell and get my old wand back. This wand here in itself is very bad. It has no mana regen. It has very good cooldown and whatnot, but it has no mana regen. So it, ah, yeah, we're gonna keep this. Or right, let's go. Let's see how this can go now. Tico, 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 and here we go. So now the question is, what do I do with the mana drain? Because uh, first of all, this has zero cooldown, so I can do this, for example, and shoot with this. Yeah, look what's happening. It has zero cooldown, that's why this is happening. Also, why am I getting random shots? Ah, because I have the 45% chance to get random shots. So I could do this plus tracking shots, for example, and then this is now infinite mana. Not infinite damage, but infinite mana. The infinite mana is gonna make these guys cast more often, right? Because we're gonna have infinite mana. Uh, if I had the resonance rune, I could have done something. I don't have the resonance rune though. Hmm. I'm thinking if I could combo something here. I don't think I can combo something because I don't have the book either. If I had the book, my DPS would have been through the roof, but I don't have the book. And because I don't have the book, I don't think we can do anything about that. Uh, I would say I need to use the rocking ball to actually be able to beat the boss. So the only thing I need to do is just this move. Yeah, I lose the game. Just this move and then I shoot this and the boss can no longer damage us. So I'm going to begin with this. Did I make these guys cast the rocking balls in a speedy manner? Actually, yeah. These things can easily cast the rocking balls in a speedy manner. This has cooldown of 1. Cooldown of 0 0.9. Cooldown of 0 0.33. So if I put this guy here, he's going to be casting the rocking balls. Okay. And the rocking balls are going to be using my energy storing globe for mana. Now this thing is going to have infinite mana because I'm going to be attacking with a 3.2 mana cost spell that gives us 4 mana on hit. And it's going to have tracking shots, so this is always going to hit the boss. Therefore, I have infinite mana, okay? And this guy is going to be spawning rocking balls. You know what? Forget the pops. Let's go here. 
So we're gonna be spawning Key's hands, that they're gonna be spawning magic bullets, and then we're gonna also be spawning Microcosm. I don't need this. I don't need the Energy Saver. We have infinite mana. We do not need Energy Saver. I'm gonna go Mana Region on you. So I generate infinite mana with this. This thing spawns tentacles that shoot the bullets for DPS. Uh, what is this? Uh, excuse me. I don't think I need... Yeah, I don't think I need tracking shots. I can just shoot in the middle. So then the tracking shots are going to hit the opponent. Yeah, I think that's the play. So the play is, I generate infinite mana on the orb, that, on the one that says the rest can spend my mana. This guy spawns Key's hand that shoot the bullets. And this guy, with the infinite mana he has, is going to be spawning rock and balls to block all the projectiles. That is the idea. I do not need accelerator on this. Um, yeah, just put some AoE or something on that. Tracking shots. We got another tracking shots? Well, then I'm going to go tracking shots. This is never going to get used, by the way, this line. So let's say instead of piercing, no, I do want piercing. Instead of speed, I'm going to say, let's go with damage. Double shots again. Double shots again. We're going to have infinite mana. This is not going to be an issue. If I do have an issue, I'm going to just switch here. If I'm going to be fast enough. We should not have an issue, though. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's see how much infinite mana we have. Okay, I mean, look at my mana. I actually have infinite. This is the true definition of infinite mana. Yes, and the opponent can literally not do anything to us. And the reason is very simple. Uh, the rock and balls are just blocking all the shots. And I'm also getting infinite... Oh, I got hit. I need to be closer to the rock and balls here in the background. Yeah, some are going off screen, by the way, and are falling on the ground. That's okay. We still have infinite mana. Nothing has changed. Yep. We have infinite mana. All my shots have infinite mana. Everything is infinite mana. And we're good. We are good. Takes a while here. DPS is going to get written at the end of the top right or somewhere with from the editor. Because we now know how much life the boss has. And then we can just divide the duration from the boss. to get the DPS on this. And we won. Easy win on this. Easy infinite. I I'm telling you, if you have a one that has zero cooldown and you just get the mana drain, you won. Of course, we won even previously even faster. Uh, yeah, look how fast we're shooting those small bullets, by the way. Do I need to be closer for those small bullets to hit? I think they are hitting all the time, right? Whoa. I got hit a bit more than what I was expecting to. I think this is the perfect spot. I'm not getting pushback. The rock and balls are blocking for us. We're getting infinite tentacles. We're not really losing the tentacles. Yeah, and I think the side shots are also doing their thing. By the way, look at my mana just running out. Why did the Oh, I just lost all my tentacles. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's be here. Let's be here. This feels safer. Takes a while for us to win, but we got this. The ones are moving a bit around when you're moving around. So that's the main um, danger zone there. If you move while you shouldn't be moving. That's how you can easily die. But now we're not gonna move again. Man, I wanted to have this ability and this power in the run. But, I mean, it's hard to get the infinite mana early. Which we didn't. So that's nice. I did enjoy what we got here. I got the ghost for a while. Which, honestly, the ghost orbs were fun and oh, cool. Uh, but obviously, this final boss here needs you to have specific things going on. So there's that. Maybe they should put a DPS dummy. Maybe they could do more things that would be cooler. Uh, I don't know how exactly they would do that. Maybe, you know, he has phases. That would be the ch the chance, right? He, For example, he has 10,000 DPS, uh, 10,000 life. And then you have 10 seconds to kill him. And the otherwise, it just explodes. Then the next one has 200 life. And then you have, you know... Uh, let's say 50,000 life You have 10 seconds to kill it Otherwise it explodes And then he resets again And then he goes to 100,000 life You kill him or he explodes Then he resets again 200,000 life And that just goes up and up and up And then at some point you just die Right This way Instead of trying to specifically build a defensive build Which I have right now for example You would always go for full on DPS build It would be nicer Although once again This guy's gonna go away When the Act 4 releases So uh, there's that I guess Easy win Bye bye And this was one of the faster ones I would say And just like that I'm out of mana <laughs> The moment the boss died We are out of mana This is so awesome I have to say I really enjoy the sexiness Of what the mana drain looks like Like the sexiness of this thing doesn't that look sexy? I think it does. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I think that's going to be it here. We're going to cut it up. Is it the bug? It is the bug. 
where the game loads or doesn't load. We have enough coins to level up a class between these two or we can keep money to level up the dash class. What do you guys believe? Do you want me to either level the if you don't attack at all after four seconds you go into invincibility or the over seven or do you want me to get the you can cast from nine meters away over five um I, by the way i think both of these are trash just to be clear uh, i believe that it's better to hope that the next level is something insane right for example the, if the next level of this the level because this is level two if the level three is uh arcane explosions leveled up or for this one if the level three is pop is leveled up then it's good because here the level three is you get one more uh, level up on the dash which is insane in my opinion but if these also cost like 2000 then it's gonna be bad so i'm gonna wait for opinions on this we're gonna continue playing with what we currently have and then i'm gonna level them up later um also i can also check if these robe mantles and magic robe are i hate this thing um, are uh, level upable to level 3 because if they can go level up the uh, code to level 3 then most likely that is what they do so the one thing is this thing which says max level 3 uh, you cannot check the levels but it says it over here max level 3 and then this is also max level 3 so the chance is that the classes just get levels up on those and if the level up is scaling linearly then obviously from 5 to 9 and then from 9 to most likely 13 or 14 uh, or maybe 15 based on what the devs thought about that most likely it's just gonna be 13 and then from 7 to 4 I guess the next level is from 4 to 1 so you would just all the time are invisible that would be cool actually if I, every one second I go invisible that's really really powerful once again though, I still believe that leveling up the spells is better because who cares about the relics anyway you guys decide uh, should I do the gamble I feel like if I'm gonna do a gamble on something I'm gonna do it on this one let's gamble boom here with you guys yep it's down to one so i will take that as proof that this also goes from five to nine and then from nine to thirteen so this i'm not gonna level up this i'm also not gonna level up honestly <laughs> i don't care about this being even lower i want to level this thing up because it makes a difference that's what i'm thinking i want to have a difference this thing it does not feel like a difference if i'm gonna play a pet build waiting four seconds and never attacking again or waiting one second i mean there is a huge difference obviously but still almost who cares here that is a difference that that's a rare leveled up right away which i can transform into meteors or i can transform into anything that is a rare leveled up spell and this is also really powerful because it gives you right away a leveled up spell and then almost a second level up spell that's why i'm always using this because of the value it provides us anyway hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around